News everywhere. We recognize families and individuals are not the only ones feeling the strain on their finances. Manitoba Premier Heather Stephenson joined by Winnipeg Mayor Scott Gillingham as she announces additional spending of $150 million to ease costs in the health care system and for municipal projects. Municipalities and communities across our province are facing inflationary pressures that impact their ability to deliver important projects and services that Manitobans rely and depend on. Projects like Centreport and Transportation Hub and Inland Trading Post. Mayor Gillingham says final funding agreements for the Centreport Water and Wastewater Project have been finalized at a shared cost of $60 million. This will allow us to proceed with tendering the detailed design work and finalizing land acquisition with a goal of starting construction at Centreport South next year and hopefully seeing the development um, of new buildings very soon after that. Gillingham says a fully built out center port could be a major employer, creating up to 16,000 new jobs in Winnipeg. Stevenson also announcing around 100 million to eight rural municipal water and wastewater projects, including water treatment plant expansions in Morden, Brandon, and Winkler, and water and sewer renewals in Power View Pine Falls. This is a very positive annou announcement, and the government and the municipal governments are to be lauded for it. Political scientist Malcolm Bird says infrastructure funding like this from provincial governments is paramount. Without water, it is impossible uh, for people to live, work, produce things, move things, all, all of that kind of kind of uh, important uh, societal and economic activity. And so this is this is this is good news for the people of uh, of Manitoba. But the opposition NDP say after years of frozen municipal funding under the PC government, this announcement is far from adequate. A statement in part reading this announcement today doesn't come close to making up for the seven years of cuts Brian Pallister and Premier Stephenson have made to Winnipeg and communities across the province. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.